Hi everyone. So for today's video, I'm going to share with you the new chapter three release from Eileen Hall with Sizzix. I'm so excited for this release. Um, there's going to be two new scoreboard Excel dies along with a 3D textured impressions embossing folder and a thin lint die. So first I'm gonna share with you the Excel scoreboard. And this one, this is the die right here. And this one basically is the new skinny mini book scoreboard XL die. I'll put the links to all these down below. And you can see here, this creates the book. And then these create the sides to create the box. And then this, um, you get a label as well, which can also be a closure for the box. So let me share with you the projects I created for that. And here it is. Such a cute size. Oh my gosh, I love this size. And so the box itself, let's see here. It's four, about four and a quarter. And then height wise, it's about six and three quarters. So really nice size book. And I love how it's much um, smaller. So that's why they called it a skinny mini book. So basically it's just a smaller version of the book um, box. And then I use the strawberry milkshake collection from Prima and I love it. So you can see here the label, I use it as a closure. So it wraps around the back and I added some Velcro and then inside is the book and it's so cute. So let me see, I got some embellishments in here so I'll take those out. So it fits perfectly a pack of the Say It In Crystals. So this I um, created into like a little embellishment holder. So you can see how it's the book box. So, so cute. So it fits perfectly in there. And then I made um, a couple of embellishments using the three by four journaling card. So it makes a great gift for a swap or a crafty friend. So I put those in there. And then I made some embellishments with the cute little label. That's also part of the die. So you can make some cute embellishments with that die cut and then it fits perfectly inside the book there's lots of possibilities with this die you can put a mini album you can like here add some embellishments you could put some treasures in here like jewelry or some trinkets really fun die and again i'll put the link to this one down below so basically I created all my projects using the Strawberry Milkshake Collection. Now the second die, which I created two projects, and this is the other Excel scoreboard die. This is a Card Caddy scoreboard die. So this makes, you can see here, it makes the box. This is the sides that creates the side and then you also get a label here. Now I created two projects using this die. So the first one I'm gonna show you is the box. And again, I use this uh, strawberry milkshake collection. So let me share with you. So here it is. And it's this absolutely cute die. Let me take these out. These are just some cards um, that I cut out from the collection. So if I need to make a tag or a card, I have it ready. And then you could put a set of cards and envelopes in here as well. And isn't it adorable? I love the shape, it's so pretty. So it makes this cute box. And then I used um, Sizzix uh, mat board. And then I layered it with the paper. 
And I love how strong and sturdy it is once you add mat board with it. And again, that's the, the beauty of the scoreboard dies that are designed by Eileen Hall is that they score and fold when you use thick material. So that is the first project I made. And then the second one, I made it into an embellishment book just by turning the, the die cut um, to the side. So you can see here, I didn't add the side panels like I did here, like here with the box. I didn't add these. And then I just turn it and then it creates a cute little mini book. But this one I created into an embellishment book. And again, I use the Strawberry Milkshake Collection. So I wrapped it with some twine. So I got this cute pink and white twine. And then I just wrapped it around. And then I added um, the binding ring that I picked up from AliExpress and it fit perfectly. And I'll put the link to that as well. It fit perfectly in this um, caddy. And then here I made some cute embellishments. So it makes a cute way to give somebody some cute handmade stuff. These are just some strawberry boxes and it makes a cute project or you can make it into a mini book also. So if you want to create a mini book with this die. Okay. So those are the two projects I made with the card caddy Excel scoreboard die. The next die is the thin lids die and this is the skinny mini elements and it's so pretty. Look at the detail in that. So, you know, you'll notice here, it doesn't cut this rectangle. It just cuts this part right here. And so what I did was I made a card and I love it, it's so pretty. So you can see here, I just trimmed it on the side to fit my slim line card. And it's such a beautiful die. And then I just, you know, fill up my layering. And again, it's a card. And then I add, I don't know if you could see it, I used the Prima's um, uh, white sand. It's hard to see it because it's clear, but it just gave a lot of texture to the card. And I absolutely love this die, it's just so pretty. So that's what you can do with that die. And then the last thing is the 3D Texture Impressions Embossing Folder, which basically is a, a woven leather. Not sure if you could see it. Can you see that? It's so pretty. So what I did was um, to go with this whole theme that I'm going here with the strawberry, I made a little box and I used the um, embossing folder, but look at that texture. Isn't that so pretty? I love it. And then it fits my little strawberry box inside and it makes a cute little favor. So you can see all that texture. So that is the new chapter three release um, by Eileen Hall with Sizzix. And again, I'll put all the information and the links where you can purchase these uh, down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.